Hello learners, you're welcome to Photomat. We'll look at laws of indices in module 1. First, we need to understand that there are specific objectives. What are they? Learners should be able to identify the laws. They should be able to simplify the laws. They should be able to evaluate mathematical problems using the laws of indices. And a basic previous knowledge must be how to use algebraic expressions and equations, as you can see below here. So, by way of introduction, what then is a law? Or what does a law mean to you? According to the dictionary, a law is defined as a binding or enforceable rule. It does not matter who uses it, it works all the time. The law of indices are mathematical rules such that when correctly applied can be used to solve math problems involving indices and powers or exponentials. There are seven laws of indices that we'll be looking at in this model and in solving equations and simplifying expressions the laws can be used individually or in a combined form. Please learners, take time to learn these laws and write them down. Learners, we'll look at some examples. Example 1, simplify the following. A. 5 raised to power minus 3 times 5 raised to power 4. B. 216 raised to power 2 over 3 divided by 81 raised to power 3 over 4. And question 2 will solve for x in the equation 5x is equal to 80x raised to the power of negative 1 over 3. Take time to follow the solution in the next slide. Example 1. You find out that the first law says x raised to power a times x raised to power b is equal to x raised to power a plus b. And that is why the powers minus 3 plus 4 is being added together. And when minus 3 is added to plus 4, the answer is 1, hence 5 raised to power 1. And 5 raised to power 1 is 5. Part b, 216 raised to power 2 over 3 divided by 81 raised to power 3 over 4. The first thing to do is to simplify each of the terms. Hence, you have 6 raised to power 2 divided by 3 raised to power 3 on simplification. And that gives us 4 over 3 as a final answer. In step 2, we're looking for x. The first thing to do is to divide through by 5. That way we have x equals 16x raised to the power minus 1 over 3. According to the law of indices, a negative power gives birth to a reciprocal, hence x being equal to 16 over x raised to the power 1 over 3. And if we cross multiply and use the very first law, of addition of the powers, we have x raised to the power 4 over 3 is equal to 16. Please take note of the simplification process. And because 16 is also equal to 2 raised to the power 4, then the powers of 4 on both sides of the equation can multiply out. x raised to the power 1 over 3 is equal to 2. In the next slide, you'll see the completion of this example. Here you see how the powers are redistributed by multiplying through by the power of 3 to give us x being equal to 2 raised to the power 3, which is just the same thing as x being equal to 8. And you will notice in this example that more than one law of indices was encountered. 
in this solution. You might want to review this again. Now it's time for you to answer some questions. Once the next page opens up, click on the play button to pause this video so you can time yourself for 15 minutes and attempt the questions that follow. When you are through, click on the play button again to see the correction. Having read through the quiz, click on the play button to pause the video so you can answer this question, time yourself for 15 minutes, at the end of which you can play it again. Well, learners, I want to assume you have worked for 15 minutes and you might want to cross-check your work with the correction. Question number one. Simplify 6 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 0 times 6 raised to power minus 3 divided by 5 raised to power 3 divided by 5 raised to power 6. Looking at the solution, you'll discover it was quite easily demonstrated. Second question, you are expected to find the value of x and the equation. Of course, it starts by dividing through by 5 and simplifying the process. Look at the correction and see where you've done well and where you need to make some correction. Take note of the use of the powers. The signs, addition of negative to negative gives a negative answer. The final answer for x is 1 over 5. You might want to relate with us by answering these questions as assignment. You can mail your answers to wellingtonobo at live.co.uk for correction to these assignments and for us to assess your work. And for related tutorials, please visit wellington-math-class.wikispaces.com. Now it's time for us to conclude. The learning object has been on the laws of indices and their application to solving related problems. It is okay to replay the lesson object if you do not understand completely. I do hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Thank you.